everyone, and welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Carly. I'm Miss Silvana. And we're so glad that you could join us this week for Storytime, where every week we want to share activities, songs, and tips about our weekly theme. This week, we're celebrating Dog Days of Buckeye and talking all about dogs. Make sure to check the city's website at buckeyeaz.gov slash events to learn more about the virtual dog programs that we have. Before we get started, we want to do our hello song. This is called Everybody Wave Hello and is to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Will you guys join us at home? You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello, let's have some fun. Everybody clap hello. Clap hello, clap hello, everybody clap hello, now our song is done. Good job. Today we have some special guests that we want to introduce you guys to. Miss Silvana and I have brought our dogs to meet you guys. So you guys come outside with us and meet our furry friends. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about our furry babies here and me and Carly, she's going to talk about hers and I'm going to talk about mine. Nikki loves to play and cuddle. She's a terrier mix and she was rescued six years ago. She's six years old. Nikki loves to go uh, riding in the car. She just loves that. And she loves, of course, treats. She loves her treats and she loves her shirt. She has a lot of sports shirts, cardinal shirts, all the kind of um, outfits she has at home. All right, this is Ollie and she is a healer, a red healer mix. And she's about three years old. And what's special about Ollie is that she's deaf, which means she can't hear at all. So when we got her, she was a rescue dog and we, we decided, we chose her even though we knew she was deaf, we thought that we could give her a good home even though maybe she might not be able to find a home real easily because she can't hear so well. So we got her and we tried to teach her a few things like hand signals and we taught her how to go to the bathroom outside and then the only other thing she knows is if we go like this, as long as she's looking at us, she knows that means to come and she's really good at that. But sometimes it's hard to get her attention because she can't hear. So we have to like look around like, come here, Ollie, look, 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 look at me. And as soon as we do that and she sees us, she comes running really fast. And she's just the sweetest dog. She's, she loves playing fetch. She loves, she'll bring back balls. She loves chewing on anything. And she's such a sweet dog. We love her so much. All right, and this is Scout. He is almost two years old and he's a little schnauzer poodle mix. And he is the sweetest dog. He just loves to snuggle. He loves to sleep with me every night. And no matter where I'm sitting, on the couch or wherever, he just wants to be snuggled up to me. He's just the sweetest little boy. And my girls love him so much. He'll even go to school with Avery when she has virtual school. He loves to just sit there and help her do her school. It's so sweet. He's just the most lovable little guy. We love him so much. Welcome back inside, guys. We had so much fun introducing you to our dogs. That was so fun. I love your dogs so much. Yes, your dogs are so cute, Miss Carly. Thank you. And we have another special guest that we want to introduce you to. This is Malcolm. And Malcolm is going to help us fall in love with reading today. Here's a quick tip. As your little one starts to read on their own, have them try reading aloud to their dog or other pet or even a stuffed animal. This is a great way for them to feel more relaxed and confident as they practice reading. We have a really fun activity with some puppies today. Let's count how many puppies we have. One, two, three, four, five. Can you guys show me five? Good job. All right, it goes like this. Five little puppies were playing in the sun. This one saw a rabbit and he began to run. This one saw a butterfly and he began to race. Woof, woof, woof. This one saw a kitty cat and he began to chase. Woof, 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 woof. This one tried to chase his tail and he went round and round. 
This one was so quiet. He didn't make a sound. Shh. Good job, guys. That was so much fun. Since we're celebrating Dog Days of Buckeye today, we're going to sing If You're a Dog and You Know It. So this is Malcolm. He's going to help us. Malcolm, you going to help us? All right, let's do it. All right, this is to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. It goes like this. If you're a dog and you know it's spin around. If you're a dog and you know it's spin around. If you're a dog and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a dog and you know it's spin around. If you're a dog and you know it, tilt your head. If you're a dog and you know it, tilt your head. If you're a dog and you know it and you really want to show it If you're a dog and you know it, tilt your head If you're a dog and you know it, catch a ball Good boy! If you're a dog and you know it, catch a ball If you're a dog and you know it and you really want to show it If you're a dog and you know it, catch a ball Good boy! Good job! Thank you, Malcolm! Activity, we're going to show you guys how to make toilet paper roll dogs. All you'll need is a toilet paper roll, um, some paper, scissors, glue, and then markers or crayons. And if you have googly eyes, you can use those. If not, that's okay too. All right, to get started, you'll just take your piece of paper and cut it the size of your, of your toilet paper roll and wrap it around like this. I used white, but you can use any color you like. Or if you want to keep your dog brown like Miss Sylvana's, you can do that. Just leave it brown. And then you just need to cut out the pieces that you'll need. And you can use any color for that. I chose blue on mine. I cut out little circles for the feet and then drew some little paws on there. And then I drew a little mouth and a nose and glued my googly eyes on, cut some big droopy ears and a little tail and just glued those on and it turned out so cute. Miss Sylvana, yeah, can you tell me about yours? That's a cute little dog. Thank you. I use for my little dog here, I just used the same toe paper. I wanted to make it brown. And I had a nice little, um, like, off-white little paper. I drew a little paws, my little eyes, the same thing. Just put a little nose and a little smile and a little waggly tail. So just be creative. The same thing, I did a little, like, Dalmatian one here. So it's black and white. So I use black and white paper. But you can be as creative as you want. You can make your dog any color you want. Use glitter. Yeah. Anything you have at home. That's right. It's super simple and they turned out so cute. So have fun making your little dogs. Hey Malcolm, did you have fun making your dogs? Check out these books featuring our theme for this week. Available at your library. Visit our website for more information at buckeyeaz.gov slash library. much for joining us today. We hope you guys had a lot of fun learning all about dogs and celebrating Dog Days of Buckeye with us. We hope you have fun making our craft and special thanks to our dog friends who were able to join us. Thank you to Malcolm and Ollie and Scout and Nikki. We had so much fun with you guys. And make sure you guys join us next week to see what we'll be learning about then. But before we go, we've got to do our closing song, Skinamarink. Will you guys join us at home? Are you ready, Miss Silvana? Yes, let's, let's do, do it. it. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. Now it's time to go home, but I'll see you soon. Oh, skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Bye, guys. We'll see you next time. Oh. <laughs> 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 nice target. It's short. Sure. No, get off that too. Stay. If you're a dog and you know it, catch a ball. If 
you're a dog and you know it, catch a ball. <laughs> you know it, catch a ball. Malcolm, you're a dog and you know it, catch a ball. Dog and you know it, spin around. If you're a dog and you know it, spin around. <laughs>